Hey guys, this is Sean from Podium Pro. Going to give you a couple minutes of a demo here of our application. Once you uh, download the app from the App Store, we recommend you uh, sync up to Dropbox. If you haven't created a Dropbox account, just go and do that. I've already created a Dropbox account, and when you click that Dropbox symbol, we're going to create a Podium Pro folder in your Dropbox. It will be empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a RTF file from my public folder and send that over to my Podium Pro folder and you'll see it populate there on the right hand side of the screen. There it is, it just pulled up live right there. I just tapped on that file and opened it. Going into settings here, changing the, the time for the color timer bar gives you a visual indicator of the time you have left. You can count up or count down. And it'll also count over time if you go over time in your speech. You can change the background from white to black depending on the lighting conditions in the room so you don't light your face up. When you hit present, the timer is going to start automatically. And then this is the screen where you won't get any pop-ups. You can pinch zoom, but you won't get any keyboards or menus popping up. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty nice feature to have when you're speaking in front of people. I got the uh, thumbnail there, so for video bloggers, this is a really, really cool um, feature. So you can have text in front of you, and you have the little thumbnail so you can stay in frame. Going back to the editor, and from here you can do a, a, all the changes to your document you want. You can you can blow it up to you know a thousand percent size. Um, it'll also increase the document pages if you do that, but um, basically allows you to last minute flexibility on the fly changes to to what you're looking at when you're about to give your uh, speech or your talk it's really flexible just changing the colors up here so it, I can stay on track while I'm giving my giving my talk so back to the uh, my documents and here's the recording section this is the menu we use you can view the videos listen to the audios in here and um, a simple swipe will uh, you can be delete them by doing that um, or you can send them to Dropbox or email them. Here I'll go and email this this video file. If they're larger than you know, around 25 megabytes if you're using Gmail, um, it's going to be tough to get them to email. So we hooked it up to Dropbox, so you can send them straight into Dropbox, and from there you can um, uh, you have a link. You can do whatever you want with them. Creating a new document, a default screen and background is going to be white and the font size is going to be 36. And you can change it by pinch zooming or going into settings and using that slider bar to increase or decrease text size. That slider bar also highlights the whole document. So you can um, make, make changes to a large document. If you have a thousand page document, you, just touching that, that slider bar will highlight the whole thing so you can change all the color and everything really easily. So from our help menu here, you type on feedback and that's going to bring you over to our customer assistance site and you can see all the open conversation going on between our, uh, our beta testers when we were still in beta. As well as all the other uh, um, good input we've been getting from people for uh, features they'd like to see, um, bug reports, and um, basically just sharing ideas and, and, and searching for other questions. So um, you yeah, step in there, and it's pretty open conversation. We don't we don't hide a whole lot. We don't delete your comments. We just leave it wide open. We got a share button in there. If you guys like the application, um, go ahead and share it. The more users we get, the more input we get, the better we're going to be able to keep making this thing. We appreciate your time.